Hi guys, today we are going to look at how to create a search campaign inside a Google Ads account. In order to do so, once you log into your account, on the left panel, you have to go to the campaigns tab. Once you click on campaigns, you get an option to create a new campaign with the help of the plus button provided. So click on the plus button and it will give you an option to create a new campaign. Inside the campaign, what you can do is you can also provide, uh, you can choose the goal for the campaign. Now that can be sales, leads, website traffic, product and brand consideration, brand awareness and reach or app promotion. For today, I'm going to look at sales as one of the goals. Once you choose that, the system will ask you to select the campaign type. So for today's session, I'm going to look at search campaign. In the coming videos, we'll look at creating other campaign types as well. Once you select your campaign type, you can also select the way you want to reach this goal. Now that can be through website visits, phone calls, store visits or app downloads. Let's say we are looking at website visits for now. Once you choose that, you can provide your website URL. And then you can continue. Now we are coming to a page for campaign settings where we have to provide details regarding our campaign. So starting off with the first thing, which would be the campaign name. Then the system is asking you to provide the network which you want to target over here. Will that be a search network or a display network? For today's campaign, we are going to focus on looking at search network. And then you can go to show more settings to set up the other things for the campaign. You can also give a start date and an end date for the campaign. So let's say for the start date is September 20th for now. We can also give an end date to this campaign in this manner. You can also set up the campaign URL options, uh, which helps you to target your ads in a different manner. I'll take you through that session in the coming videos. You also have the option to uh, set up the dynamic search ads to run the ads in the campaign, um, so which you can do from here. Uh, the campaign also gives you an option to schedule your ads to run on particular days of the week or time of the day through this particular option. You can click on this and choose the particular days when you run want to run your business when you know it really well. Now you can also set up the location targeting. In location targeting, you can select anything starting from a country. You can target a whole country. You can also target a state. You can target a particular city. You can also do pin code targeting. And if your business is local, you can also look at doing radius targeting in this manner. You can select your radius, give the area and mention the area which you are targeting and you can click on save. Then you can also give your language targeting in which you can specify the languages your customers speak by selecting from all these options provided. You also have an option to set up the audiences for this campaign. I will take you through the audience targeting session in the coming videos when we create a display campaign. Then you can also set up the budget for the campaign. Budget is basically the amount of money which you're willing to spend on this campaign on a per day basis. And then you can also provide the bidding strategy for this campaign. The way you're going to bid for this campaign that can be based on conversions, conversion value, clicks or impression share. For now, since I have chosen the goal as sales, let's keep the focus on conversions and you can set a target cost per action bid. Or you can also set up a different bidding strategy by clicking on select a bid strategy directly here. Once this is done, you can also provide set up the account level conversion action or you can do your ad rotation, which is basically prioritizing certain types of ads.
for your business. So if you choose the first option which says optimize prefer best performing ads, what this will do is the system will try to run only the better performing ads more often than the others. And the last option on the page is add extensions uh, wherein you can add these extensions to your campaign to run along with your ads. These help in improving your ads performance. I'll take you through ad extensions in a separate video in the future. Once you fill up all this information, you can save this and continue. And now we'll go to the next stage wherein you can set up the ad group. On the ad group page, we have to mention what type of an ad group are we trying to create. So here, as you can see, it says ad group type. You have two options, standard and dynamic. Standard lets you create a normal ad group with, with a ad inside it. If you choose dynamic, then you will be able to create a dynamic search ad. So for now, I'm choosing standard. And now here you can name the ad group and you can give the keywords for this search campaign. The system is suggesting certain keywords based on the website URL you gave in the beginning. If you want to add your own keywords, you can also do that by doing in this manner. Once you have given your keywords, you can save this and continue to the next page, which lets you create the ads for the campaign. So now, as you can see on this ad creation page, on the left panel, you can fill up all the details regarding the ad. On the right hand side, you can see the preview of how the ad is going to look like. So now, as you can see, this is my website. I am going to open this in a new tab and I'm going to pick a particular landing page from here, which I will be using. Let's say I'm going for computers and this will be the landing page, which I'm thinking of using in the ad. So I can put it out here and now I can build the whole ad one by one by putting all the headlines and descriptions. Make sure that you are making use of the complete space provided in the ad. This way you, it increases the chances of users clicking on your ads. As you can see, if you increase the character limit, it shows you in red, which gives you an indication that you're exceeding the limits for every line. So make sure you are under the limit provided. You can also provide the sub the subdomains over here as well in path one and path two, which basically gives a proactive information about what people are uh, going to look at. They will going to see once they click on your ads. So for now, for this particular ad, I'm putting it as buyers and registration, which basically means when people click on this, they will be taken to the buyers section where they can do registrations. In the description, you get two descriptions to fill over here. Okay, which is 90 characters each. So in total, you get like 180 characters to write in description. Please make a use of the full space and provide as much information as you can regarding your business. The more information you're able to provide, the higher likelihood of people clicking on your ads. So like this, you are able to create the whole ad. You can see a preview of the ad, how it is going to look like on the right side on mobile device. And here you can see how the ad is going to come on desktop. Once the ad is created, 
you can say done and you can create the next ad if you want to or else you can just click on done and you can save the whole campaign now that the campaign is ready it will go for a check and you can see this is the campaign which we have created today which is a search September 2112 campaign which is a search campaign which has one ad group when we click in the ad group we can see the four keywords we had chosen we can also see if you want to see the ads created then you can go to the ad section and you can see the ad over there as well you can see the ad is saying as under review which basically means that the ad has gone for a check Google will take one business day to check the ad. Once the ads are approved, the campaign can go live. In this manner, guys, you can go ahead and create your search campaigns inside the Google Ads account. I hope this video was useful and you are able to make use of this going forward. In the coming videos, we'll see and I'll show you how to create different types of other campaigns as well in the Google Ads account. Thank you for this, guys.